The abrupt end to the Fremont High varsity football season has left seniors stunned. A COVID-19 outbreak also forced them to forfeit the second round of the state playoffs. Several players talked to Fox 13's Haley Higgins, who is live in Plain City this afternoon. Haley, do we know how many players are sick? Yeah, well, it takes at least three players to quarantine the entire team, and that's what happened here at Fremont. They are forced to sit out what would have been a playoff game on Friday against Copper Hills. This is like the season that I've looked forward to since I was playing rec football. These four Fremont High seniors played together since they were kids. This week, they ended their last season apart and in quarantine. It was awful, man. Everyone was just in grief. It just hit so fast that you, you didn't really have time to process it. The varsity team was in the locker room Monday afternoon, gearing up for the second round of the state playoffs when they got an email. The season was over immediately. I was, I was pretty sad about it, just like every other senior was. Roughly two dozen seniors played Fremont football. Just to know that I've looked for, look forward for this a uh, moment in my life and then it just gets taken away. Uh, I don't know, it's just, this is hard. Jackson McFarland, Trapper Bem, Cord Cypers, and Jackson Skidmore feel like they were robbed of their last home game of the year. Would have kind of been nice to know that uh, last Wednesday was the last time we were going to take off our helmet and put on our pads and stuff like that because I feel like we would have thought about that game differently. The players insist the coaching staff did their best to control COVID-19. You always had that um, like feeling like you never knew if the season could end tomorrow because of getting shut down. And after years together, they feel that COVID stole a high school rite of passage. It would have kind of given us closure to know that this is our last practice. This is our last game. This is the last time I'll ever walk off the field. Now some, now some players are talking with college coaches, but because of COVID-19, they tell me that they fear that the season wasn't long enough to allow them to get enough footage to compete for other scholarships. Reporting live in Plain City tonight, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.